You've probably been seeing that like milky green lake in Rocky Mountain National Park. It's been all over my Instagram, all over TikTok. It's cool because it's unusual. It doesn't happen in Colorado all that often. And it happened because of a rock slide or really a debris slide. So it was back on June 28th. It's in Chaos Canyon. They had this big old rock slide that came down. You would actually probably call it a debris slide because what came down was more than just rocks. It was big old boulders, but it was also really, really fine sediment. So like silt or clay. And that's what makes the big difference when it comes to the color. So the slide brought in a lot of the silt, this clay. Sometimes it's called rock flower and it has particles so fine that as they fell into the lake, instead of going all the way to the bottom, like, you know, sand, most things do, it actually just kind of stays suspended. And that's why it turns that cool color. So basically, when sunlight hits the water, the particles absorb the purple and the indigos, the shortest wavelengths, while the water absorbs the reds, the orange, and the yellows. Because of this, the blues and greens get scattered back and that's why we see that milky green. So what's cool about this process and why this is so unique is normally you get these from glaciers that move over thousands of years. This happened all with one day and one slide. It's just kind of continuing to put all of this into the lake. Okay, so you may have seen recently that I was in Banff. And by the way, if you haven't, one of the most beautiful places that I've ever been, but it's the same process. That's why they have those crazy turquoise lakes there is because of all that rock flower from all those different glaciers. By the way, I got a lot of this information from the National Park Service site. I'm gonna to link to it, so if you wanna read a little bit more if you're nerdy like me and like to learn a lot about science. Okay, so the big question is, how long will this lake look like this? And scientists, they don't actually know. I read a few things that said once it freezes, it's gonna be done, but it depends on a few things. So will that slide continue to bring more silt and clay down into the lake? So that's the big one, because as it continues to do that, we're gonna to continue to see this color with those particles suspended. And then how long will it take for that rock flower to finally settle to the bottom of the lake? But bottom line, you have to come. This is amazing. It's even cooler in person. We came in the afternoon and the light was just perfect. And since we don't know how long it'll last, might as well come sooner than later.